Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. What do you know about this movie? This has Keanu Reeves. Yeah. I don't know who the other person is. It's another guy. I don't know his name, that's bad. But I do think he was in something we've already seen. It was a vampire movie, Lost Boys. Okay. He was one of the vampires. Okay. So that's, I, I think that's the same person. That's all I know. Okay, we'll see once <laughs> the credits start rolling in the beginning, I'm sure. And we've had Keanu on the channel at least once, Point Break. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's been more than that. We did see Dracula. Oh, that's right. He was in uh, Bam, Bram Stroker's. Yeah. <laughs> Bam Stroker Dracula or something. Bram, <laughs> um, Bram Stoker. Bam, Bam Stoker. Bram. He was not a vampire. He was a vampire hunter or something like that. So yeah, he's been on the channel a couple of times. Obviously, everyone loves Keanu. I don't know if this is like his first role or close to one of his first roles. Maybe a point break was. I don't even really know. But I know that this is an iconic character for Keanu. And there's three of them. There's this one, one that comes out a few years later, I think. And then one that came out like three years ago or something. Okay. I did not realize this was a trilogy. So super excited. I think this is going to be a blend of just like dumb comedy, something like that. But I know really nothing about this other than it has Keanu and maybe a, a vampire guy. <laughs> okay. Thanks to our patrons for voting for this to win our adventure poll. Yeah, totally forgot. It was a winner of our adventure poll. Yeah. Which had a bunch of awesome movies on it in general. So super excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Reminds me of like uh, Independence Day, the uh, alien ships, a diamond. Yeah. I assume it's Alex Winter is the other guy. Okay. I would assume. Yeah, we'll have to see when his face comes up. It's a very interesting credit thing. Yeah. <laughs> Intro. I like this song too. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the future. Future. San Dimas, California, twenty six eighty eight. Oh. 700 years ago, the two great ones ran into a few problems. The two great ones? Don't worry. It'll all make sense. <laughs> I'm a professional. Here's Bill and Ted. Wild Stallion! Okay. <laughs> oh. Quiet, please. I like the uh, crop top. <laughs> Wild Stallions will never be a super band until we have Eddie Van Halen. I do not believe we will get Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> we don't really even know how to play. That is why we need Eddie Van Halen. Damn, you're stuck. Excellent! <laughs> Uh-oh, we're late. School, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird to see him in this role when he's like John Wick now. Yeah. So, Bill, what you're telling me is that Napoleon was a short, dead dude. That's accurate. <laughs> Who was Joan of Arc? Noah's wife. <laughs> it's a good guess. My distinguished colleague Ted and I wish to express to you our thanks, all the things we have learned in your class. And what have you learned? Yeah. <laughs> We've learned that the world has a great history. Great leaders such as Genghis Khan, Joan of Arc, and... Socratic method. <laughs> the only thing you have learned is that Caesar is a salad dressing dude. Dude. <laughs> now, unless you get an A plus on your final oral report tomorrow, I have no choice but to flunk the both of you. Damn. Your report had better be something very special. Oh, it'll be excellent. We are in danger of flunking most heinously tomorrow, Ted. <laughs> Want a ride? Sure, Missy. I mean, Mom. Mom? I thought that was another teenager. So did I. No, when she was a senior, we were fresh. Shut up, Ted. Oh, oh, that's so close. Oh, is his dad a cop? I'm looking for my keys. You haven't done anything with them, have you? No, sir. <laughs> I spoke to your principal today that if you fail history, you flunk out of school. Oh, what? I spoke to Colonel Oates this morning. He's anxious to meet you, Ted. Oh, man, stakes are high. My dad sent me to military school. Where? Alaska. What? Oof. Oh, it what? Is time. Their separation is imminent. I forgot about the future 
this future person better make sure they pass. Uh, yeah, just do the report for them. Oh, no way. Is this like Doctor Who? <laughs> Be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. <laughs> that must carry over from the two great ones or whatever he called them. Oh, I thought he would just do 1988. The dollar bill guy. Bill, you ever made a mushroom out of his head? Alaska. Focus. Had wooden teeth, chased Moby Dick. That's Captain Ahab. <laughs> Remember Disney World Hall of Presidents? Welcome to the Hall of Presidents. Brought you guys some food. What a great stepmom. <laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Not technically. Good. Good. <laughs> what the? the is sandwich he... is so burnt. I don't think he cares about the cooking. Why don't you guys take a dinner break? Isn't this your son's room? <laughs> now your dad's going for it in your own room. <laughs> Remember when I asked you to the prom? Shut up, kid! <laughs> it's a smile. Hey, Circle K. Marco Polo was in the year 1275. Not just a water sport. I knew it. Oh, it was the phone booth. It's in a parking spot. Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. I'm here to help you with your history report. All right. Oh, oh, I hate that part. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Oh, it's them. You are going to have the most excellent adventure through history. No way. Yes way, Ted! We didn't believe it either when we were you, and we us said what we us are saying right now. <laughs> what number are we thinking of? 69! <laughs> Listen to this dude, Rufus. He knows what he's talking about. Give my love to the princesses. Whoa. You'll see. <laughs> Don't forget to wind your watch! Who's in Catch the booth with him? Rufus? I don't know. It seems like they have the hang of the time travel already. Well, the other two. <laughs> You sure we should be doing this? What if we were lying? Why would we lie to ourselves? <laughs> Brace yourselves, amigos. We're history. <laughs> Some great one-liners. Where are we, dude? <laughs> when are they? <laughs> Blending right in. Right? I'm glad they're going to the time period and not getting the people from the time period into their time. Oh, yeah. Austria, 1805. The French have just invaded. Oh, man. Napoleon? There he is. Time to depart. Oh, they're already leaving? Keep going, dude. Oh, <laughs> shit, leave. Uh oh. They took him? They took Napoleon with them? It's my house. Rufus. <laughs> He's stuck in the tree. No matter what happens, you must get to that report. Most important, the clock in San Dimas is always running. So time is still going? Gentlemen, you're on your own. Already? Rufus, you didn't notice the legs <laughs> right. in the tree? <laughs> They're literally right behind him. This has been a most unusual day. <laughs> they don't even speak French. Grab his legs, we gotta get him inside. Oh man, maybe they are just gonna collect everyone. We got one historical figure here. Maybe we can go back and get some more. Oh, fuck. Oh no. <laughs> you have to watch this guy. You are not to let him out of your sight. Take him to the movies or something. What? This is Ted's little brother, Deacon. <laughs> He'll take care of you. Let's go back into history. <laughs> I want to speak with you, son. You lose my keys? You fail history? He hasn't failed yet. And did he lose his keys? Captain Logan, this is Deputy Van Halen <laughs> down at the station. That's your cue. We found your keys. If you want them, better come and get them. That was quick thinking. My dad already signed me up. My plane leaves tomorrow night. Only if we fail, dude. Perfect. 
New Mexico. <laughs> Where are they gonna land? Straight on this guy. <laughs> Plans right in. So just try to act natural. Okay. Howdy, partner. Howdy. There you go. It fit right in. Oh, don't get in like a fight or something. Two beers, please. Nice. Man, can you imagine if they had like a dollar? They could buy this whole town. Is this like Billy the Kid or something? Who's he? He's Billy the Kid. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I need two men. We're with you, Billy the Kid. Would I win? I keep. Would you win? I keep. Good deal. Sounds good, Mr. The Kid. <laughs> There's no way they know what they're doing. No. Whoa, three aces. Are you a cheating us, kid? Cheating? Me? Yeah! <laughs> All out <laughs> brawl. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Three passed to Waterloo's, home of excellent water slides. Oh, the water slides in the future. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. <laughs> he put his head back in. It's a good year blimp. Huh? <laughs> What's a blimp? Oh. oh. Yeah. Where are we going? Ancient Greece, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I figured they would drop them off. Yes, that's what I thought too. How many people are going to end up in this <laughs> phone booth? <laughs> Just left him there. <laughs> Now they need what, Socrates? Yeah, what did they say? It was... Uh, Socrates theorem or something? Yeah. Look him up. Oh, it's under Socrates. <laughs> the only true wisdom consists in knowing that you know nothing. That's us, dude. <laughs> they know nothing. How's it going? How do they bag him? Now what? Philosophize with him. All we are. Is dust in the wind, dude. <laughs> dust. Wind. Blanconiotos. Days of our life. Let's get out of here, dude. <laughs> Making friends left and right. <laughs> We'd give the man a heart attack. Check it out. Is this where he finds a princess? That's what I was thinking. Billy, guard the booth and watch Socrates. <laughs> Socrates? Socrates, don't go nowhere. Ted. Oh. I'm in love, dude. <laughs> Immediately. But with which one or both? This must be the princesses you told yourself about at the Circle K. The Circle K. Those are historical babes. <laughs> You're the ladies, man. How are we gonna meet him? <laughs> like they're playing football. Uh, yeah. Just a couple of nights. Excellent. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this had to be so heavy. These are heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dull. <dumb. laughs> <laughs> ah. oh. oh. You just killed Ted? Do we have to get a new Ted from a different time? Don't be dead, dude. You killed Ted, you medieval dickweed! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no way! Oh, he wasn't in there? How do you get out of the suit? You're alive! Yeah! I fell out of my suit when I hit the floor! <laughs> oh my god! How's, How's it going, ladies? I. I'm Ted of San Dimas. King of San Dimas. Lyrics, dude. Recite him some lyrics. Yeah, it worked last time. You beautiful babes from England, for whom we have traveled through time. Will you go to the prom with us in San Dimas? A most triumphant time. <laughs> <laughs> King Henry. Is King Henry the one who killed like 10 wives? I think there's a bunch of King Henry's. Yeah. Will you help us escape? Of course, babes. Oh! Put them in the Iron Maiden. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Iron Maiden? Oh. <laughs> Execute them. Burn 
Julius. We need uh, Billy the Kid. Oh, they oh, got the no, pogo. Man, if Billy the Kid just pulls up with a gun, just starts blasting people. I believe our adventure through time has taken a most serious turn. <laughs> Is that? Yeah. It's Billy, right? It's Billy and Socrates. Yeah. Billy! So great! <laughs> so, so great. great. <laughs> <laughs> They're destroying everything. Get in. But they didn't take anyone from this time. Just go to a different time. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Please check your directory and dial again. What? Okay, I got one. Let's go. Uh oh. Well, they might end up with this guy. Uh, he didn't fall in like Napoleon. No. I wonder where they took. Oh, this is the present or future. Is Mr. Rufus there? Yeah, is Rufus here to check in? You guys stay here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's you. Yeah. It's <laughs> us. All right. Got translated a little bit over time. I think he wanted us to say something. <laughs> Quote some more lyrics. Yeah. Be excellent to each other. Oh. Party on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back to our report. They literally just like saw their god. <laughs> Let's get back and do our report. Good idea. Their short line. Where are we going? I don't know. I think the booth broke. Oh no. The single greatest ice cream spectacle known to man. Forgot Napoleon was there. Ziggy Zig. <laughs> it's ice cream. It's good. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so much ice cream. <laughs> Napoleon's gonna be so oh. sick. Oh. oh. <laughs> he wants more. Austria 1901. I don't know my history well enough. It's Sigmund Freud. <laughs> All right, Billy. Bag him. Oh, fuck. Mozart? Beethoven? Which one? Fuck. <laughs> Mozart. Mozart? I don't know. That's who I'm going with. I'm going Beethoven. <laughs> Good job, Socrates. Oh, it's too dark. I didn't even read that. Oh, it's got to be Joan of Arc. <laughs> that was easy. Man, they're just getting everyone. He said they had plenty of time. <laughs> there is so many people who come from the bloodline of Genghis Khan. Really? Yeah, it's insane. It's like 14% of the world or something like that. It's some stupid thing. Is that a Twinkie? Candy Graham. Candy Graham? <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty of time, but we don't have any more room left. We gotta drop some people off. We gotta try and figure out what's wrong with the food. Oh no. Oh. I think I got an idea what's wrong. It's the antenna. Right. I like how Napoleon's just going along with this so far. <laughs> Cheater. He's like, are you going to do anything about it? Oh no, Napoleon! <laughs> so angry. Come on, let's ditch him. <laughs> uh -oh. Ditch him? Oh, fuck. Excusez-moi, monsieur. You ain't paid yet. Hey? <laughs> He's got a sword. I don't want to see you around here anymore. Beat it. I'm not going to say, monsieur. Get your... So angry. Poor Napoleon. Okay, but where is he gonna go? Oh, fuck, that's way far back. That doesn't look good. No. Oh, they're all just chewing a ton of gum. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I don't know. I think it's working, dude. But where is it taking you? <laughs> he got gum. <laughs> I 
Oh shit! That's us. Let's go talk to ourselves. So that's who was in the phone booth. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> Listen to this dude, Rufus. He knows what he's talking about. But I feel like you should have talked to Rufus about your antenna problem. How come the number we dialed for San Dimas brought us here instead of to tomorrow, Rufus? You have to dial one number higher. What? Huh? And you better hurry because you don't have much time. We got ten hours left. Two hours. Ted, you forgot to wind your watch again. Oh. Well, I better remind myself again. <laughs> don't forget to wind your watch. <laughs> he definitely will. Catch you later, Bill and Ted. That conversation made more <laughs> sense this time. <laughs> It's his mom. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Missy. I mean, mom. <laughs> We'd like you to meet some of our friends. Dave Beef Oven. Okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> Maxine of Arc. Missy. <laughs> Who of Arc? Bob Genghis Khan. I think they're making. Oh, duh. I was like, how are they getting all the names wrong? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Didn't change his name. Mom, can you give us a ride someplace? Bill, I'm not taking you anywhere until you do your chores. He's got help for chores. <laughs> the San Dimas Mall. And this is where people of the day so they gotta get their thoughts out. now? Yeah, right. Beethoven, make sure you don't get sucked under. <laughs> buddy, get together, remember who your buddy is. <laughs> buddy system. Okay. Billy wrote it. <laughs> They did a really good job on the escalator. Leaders are impeached rather than beheaded. Still, perhaps today she would say- Oh, it's a presentation? Yeah, it's an oral report. Oh, shit. I didn't catch that. So they're just gonna bring everyone on stage? I think so. We'll be back as soon as we find Napoleon. You ditched Napoleon? <laughs> he was a dick. <laughs> we were one of the greatest generals in history. Where would we go? Yeah, where would, you, where would Napoleon be? Waterloo. <laughs> a water park? Eleven children, please. Are you okay? It's <laughs> gonna go right in. <laughs> Look at his outfit. Is this gonna make Napoleon not so much of an asshole if he has some fun? Come on, buddy. <laughs> hey, I hope he can swim. <laughs> oh, is that laughter? <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, I mean he's still an asshole, but at least he's having fun. There they are. Come on, Napoleon. Everybody's waiting for us. No! Oh, he doesn't want to leave. Uh oh. oh fuck. With our specialized. Oh no, they're all separated. You a musician? <laughs> I like how these two have stuck together though. Ooh. I'm Billy. This here is Socrates. Yeah, Socrates. We're from <laughs> history. <laughs> I'm Dr. Freud. But you may call me Siki. You are such a key. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. Way to go, Egghead. Aww. <laughs> oh, a oh, geek. geek. Oh, oh, God. Oh. He's definitely gonna get oh. terrified. Oh. Right, he's gonna... Dang, Genghis. <laughs> Need some help. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be all in jail. Eating chaos. Dang, Beethoven. <laughs> oh god, he armored up. Ooh. Right in the shin. Oh Jay. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I demand I'm a lawyer. At least they'll maybe all be together? Yeah, in prison. All right, come on, Grandpa. Grandpa. Why is he getting arrested? All right, what's your name? Abraham Lincoln, February 12th, 1809. <laughs> Santa High School Football Room! Knows how to work a crowd. That reminds me of um, Billy Madison when he gives and no one says anything. <laughs> you go in and talk to your dad. I'm gonna scope the place out. Mom, please keep an eye on Napoleon. Don't let him go. He just wants to go back to the water park. 
You're going to military school. You go home and you pack your bags now. Bogus. I have to break them out. Can we get your dad's keys? You could steal them, but he lost them two days ago. Go back in time. Well, time travel back to two days ago, steal your dad's keys and leave them here. Oh, shit. That way, when we get here now, they'll be waiting for us. It worked. <laughs> hey, it was me who stole my dad's keys. Exactly, Ted. That's so good. How are you going to get past my dad? Need a distraction. Remember to get the tape recorder. Yeah. Set a timer on it. What am I going to say on it? Dad! It's you, dude. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. Now they have to make sure they remember or else it won't happen. Check it out. If you can do better, please do it. <laughs> P.S. Duck. Duck. Man, they are helping themselves out so much. This is a lot to remember. The keys, the tape recorder, the message. Great people. <laughs> She's like, hey, it worked. Opening for Iron Maiden. Wild Stallion. <laughs> Uh-oh. What in the hell do you think you're doing? Remember the trash can. Trash can? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that one works. Good thing they have a station wagon. Abraham Lincoln would be most impressed with San Dimas. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> F. <laughs> oh. Why is he preemptively giving them an F? Maybe they're late. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be good. Please welcome in their 1988 World Tour. <laughs> World Tour? I'm Billy the Kid. Yeah, shoot someone. <laughs> Put your hands together. <laughs> Bill and Ted Theodore Logan. Yes! <laughs> what a great hype man. Our first speaker was born in the year 470 BC. <laughs> Damn. The teacher of Aristotle and like. Ozzy Osbourne, the accused of corruption of the young. <laughs> so please welcome to tell us what he thinks of San Dimas, Socrates! Come on, Socrates, it's your turn. You and that dead whole wife of yours would show a little discipline. Damn. He also loves baseball. <laughs> the embodiment of all of his own deepest. No way. Whoa. Nah, <laughs> just got a minor Oedipal complex. <laughs> oh, what? Did you say minor Oedip Oedipus or whatever? Is that the person who slept with her mom? <laughs> <laughs> Two hours ago, totally ravaged Oshman Sporting Goods. <laughs> Missa Bar totally roused the English from Miss France. Missa <laughs> Walk down, slide. Oh. You can see Genghis very much enjoys Twinkies because of the excellent sugar rush. <laughs> Beethoven's favorite works include Mozart's Requiem and Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. <laughs> Joan of Arc plans on instituting a full-scale aerobics program. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. No? <laughs> For our last speaker, Abraham Lincoln. Brought forth upon our most excellent adventure. <laughs> Be excellent. To each other. And. Party on? Party on! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, San Dimas High! They gonna leave in that? They gotta. And they got a whole bunch more to do, too. <laughs> Encore! We traveled through time. We got an A plus in our history report. Nice. Maybe it's time we get Eddie Van Halen. Maybe we should start learning how to play. What they do? If someone to teach them how to play. Oh, it's Rufus. Hello again. Oh, and you brought the princesses. My excellent friends. Oh, nice. How can we ever thank you, Rufus? By signing this for my kids. Wild Stallion's music has become the foundation of our whole society. <laughs> that futuristic place. And the totally excellent music. It's your music.
Your music will help put an end to war and poverty. <laughs> oh, wow. Why don't you have the ladies sign as well, would you please? After all, they are in the band. They are? Where are you going, Rufus? I got a surprise for you. Van Halen? Oh. That's to help you as you start your new band. Damn, what kind of guitars are those? If I might be so honored to jam with you, I play a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little. Let's jam! <laughs> Guess everyone's just gonna figure it out. One, two, three, four! Uh, they'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> they do get better. <laughs> All right, that was Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. What'd you think? That was fantastic. That was so much fun. Or that was excellent. That was excellent. <laughs> that was so good. Alex Winter, Keanu Reeves, they were so good. I loved like the chill, fun, kind of goofy vibe that the two of them had. Yeah, they played almost like stoner, like laid back, but not really stoner. Yeah. It was just a role that I've never seen Keanu in. I mean, yeah. we've seen him in action movies primarily and then like Dracula. Yeah. So this is just so drastically different. And I really had no idea what to expect, but it was so creative and so fun. Yeah, and I love that it was like really lighthearted and I mean, it all ended up working out because there was obviously had to be a little bit of drama with like the kind of lingering military school aspect. Yeah. Ted's dad. Kind yeah. of a slight antagonist, I guess. You needed like a hard ass. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was very lighthearted. That was like the worst like thing about it was, oh my God, he's going to go to military school. Right. But I just like loved the fact that Bill and Ted, it's not like they were stupid. That presentation at the end was fantastic. It was so good. Like they obviously like put in a ton of effort, a lot of work. They like retained all of the information because they could describe and detail every single person. So it was more like they just weren't applying themselves to this class. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of did but then they also had that chilled laid back vibe. So it was just this great like lighthearted adventure. I also loved that in the end, in the future, it's based on like their music. Right, yeah, the future is completely, like the whole world is this beautiful place because of their music. And it, and the fact that the movie ends with them still sucking. Yeah, they have no <laughs> idea how to play anything. They now have like two princess girlfriends. They came into the future and they also had no idea how to play anything. But Rufus was like, it's gonna be okay. Right, just give it some time. They will get better. I think what made this movie so special too was just all of the characters yeah like literally having billy the kid socrates or socrates or whatever they were calling so crates so crates yeah <laughs> joan of arc genghis khan like i mean they had so many great characters and it wasn't like each individual person was isolated yeah your cast of characters just kept getting bigger and bigger yeah and how they interacted with certain situations kept evolving the fact that like every person was getting dragged into other time periods. So you had like Billy the Kid and Ancient Greece and stuff. Yeah. It was just so creative and just such an awesome time. Like I could watch so many more of these. Yeah. The mall scene was excellent watching Beethoven playing and Joan is now like the Pilates, what is she? Yeah, uh, uh, whatever. Aerobics yeah, instructor. Yeah. Just everyone like kind of in their own little sort of element <laughs> and the way that they pulled it all in. Obviously the Genghis Khan just beating the shit out of that mannequin <laughs> and them all getting arrested. It was just so good. I feel like it was, like you said, just so creative and just the fact that they were able to get that cast of characters by making it like a history presentation right. was really cool. And how they played with time too was real fun. Like how they ended up coming back to talk to themselves yeah. or even like the climax of the movie, breaking them out of prison. I love that where they were like, damn, we need the keys. Oh, if we do it later, it'll happen now. Yeah. <laughs> and they kept doing that step by step. I don't know where the hell that trash can came from where it just like fell from the sky. I don't Someone know. dropped it. Yeah, I don't know how he set that one up. But yeah, I mean, obviously the playing with time, the insane cast of characters, how much fun you can have, especially like people interacting that don't speak. It's not like they had some like gimmick 
where they were like, oh, if they travel here, then they all speak English all yeah. of a sudden, you know? Yeah. Like you had Napoleon who didn't know what the fuck was going on, who was just wandering most of the movie eating ice cream and bowling and being an asshole until he finally fell in love with a water park. Yes, he loved that water park and his little outfit was so funny. <laughs> And I also love like, it also messed with time because Napoleon, he had like a battle plan that was based off of like a water slide. And like Joan of Arc, they were talking about how she like trained her troops with like aerobics yep. and stuff. So it's like, they just had so much fun with it. Yeah, and I love the presentation at the end. I honestly didn't know how they were gonna play that. I thought, obviously you said that you didn't realize it was an oral presentation. No, I thought they were just gonna like gather interview everyone them. and interview them and then like turn in a written report, but that was way more fun. Yeah, and I thought they were gonna do the presentation just having talked to everyone. I didn't realize they were gonna actually present them. With every, yeah. Right, so it was great. It was obviously a crowd pleaser for the school as well. Yeah. The dads got to see it, the principal. The what a teacher, whatever, yeah. Missy, mom. That was so, <laughs> like, like that, why? Why did they have that part? Like that, that didn't really play anything into it. It was just hilarious, the fact that that was someone from their school who was then with their dad. It wasn't like the dad was like, handsome or rich or any, I think she just liked older guys. Yeah, I mean, and the <laughs> fact that the dad just like kicked him out of his own bedroom. That was at so, one point. <laughs> and they completely like called it out too. That uh, Keanu was just like, damn, in your room, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole movie was just so much fun. It was such a great duo, Alex Winters and Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that there's at least two more because like we said, it is such a different shift from what we typically see Keanu in. Mm -hmm. So it's just cool to see people try different things even though this is probably one of his earliest, if not his earliest pieces of content, which is then crazy to think that like, you where would, he's at now. Yeah, where he's at now. It's like, could you imagine watching this when it came out and yeah. be like, this guy's a future action star. But it was excellent. I feel like the comedy was great. It was a feel good movie. This is definitely something that I would sit and watch if I saw it was on TV. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's short, it's sweet, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It also gave me vibes of Back to the Future, just a little bit. Yeah. And then a lot of, even though I've never seen them, but I've seen like commercials or clips or whatever, Mike Myers, what the hell is it called? Oh, Wayne's, Wayne's World. Wayne's World. I've never seen Wayne's World. I haven't either. And it's so funny, my mom's here watching the baby and when we said we were watching this, she thought we were watching Wayne's World. Yeah, so I, I don't know which one came out first or which one is playing off each other, but I have to feel like there's a lot of similarities between this and Wayne's World, obviously with like the music and the guitar and stuff, but this is so catchy. It's easy to see why this is a fan favorite or a cult classic, whatever you want to call it, whether you're just saying excellent or dude or party on. This For the yeah, the, noise. The, the guitar rift or whatever, <laughs> or like the slow when they're like in the future and or I guess that, this way. It's just so easy to see why this like stands the test of time and decades from now, this will still be hilarious. Yeah, so good. And I love when movies do future, but it's not like, you know, our past. Like that was really future. Yeah, that was like 2600 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. So this was a great time and I'm super excited to see what the hell the other two movies are even about. Yeah, let us know if you want us to watch the other two, if you like them. We should watch Wayne's World. This was great. I'm really glad we watched it. So thanks to the patrons for voting for this. Oh yeah, this is a Patreon winner. Yeah. Yeah, this was a fun adventure. Yeah. <laughs> so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>